The FDA approves the first drug to slow Alzheimer's in a controversial decision, and some say that cross-training across the LTC industry is a key solution for addressing worker shortage. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, June 9th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at nacacna.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. In a landmark decision, the Food and Drug Administration has approved the Alzheimer's disease drug, Aduhelm. The decision sets the stage for it to become the first ever drug marketed to slow progression of the brain-wasting disease, according to two developer Biogen. The FDA had not approved a new Alzheimer's drug since 2003, and various experts have stacked up against this one, including at least a few leading long-term care experts. With this approval, clinicians say they may be caught between concerns about the drug's efficacy, safety, accessibility, and affordability, and the needs of patients who feel they have no other recourse. The clinical trials process has been bumpy with, conf with conflicting results. In fact, the agency's decision was made despite a vote against approval by its own independent advisors but FDA leaders ultimately decided that Biogen's application met the requirements for an established accelerated pathway to approval. Quote, in determining that the application met the requirements for accelerated approval, the agency concluded that the benefits of Adelheim for patients with Alzheimer's disease outweighed the risks of the therapy, the FDA stated. A panel of FDA advisors voted against approving the drug in November 2020, with some pointedly reaffirming that position ahead of the FDA decision deadline. Critics said that there is not enough persuasive evidence to support its approval without more clinical trials. Biogen recently announced the launch of a new phase three clinical trial to determine long-term safety and efficacy. The trial called Embark is a redosing study of the drug in patients with Alzheimer's who took part in earlier clinical studies of the drug. In the 24-month study, participants will receive 10 milligrams per kilogram infusion every four weeks, according to Biogen. And Bark is expected to be one of the largest clinical trials involving Alzheimer's disease with a planned enrollment of 2,400 participants, the company said. Some experts are saying that the long-term care sector should use the coronavirus public health crisis as an opportunity to explore broader training opportunities that would allow staff members to work across multiple settings, including nursing homes. Quote, I think we have some opportunities to think about how we deploy this workforce in a more universal way, said Robin Stone, Leading Age Senior Vice President for Research and Co-Director of the Leading Age LTSS Center at UMass Boston. She continued, it would also be a response to some of the shortages that employers are dealing with. Stone's comments came Thursday during a panel discussion on strengthening the direct care workforce post-COVID. It was hosted by the research group Mathematica. She stressed the need for the states and providers to invest in geriatric development career programs that focus on training aides to provide care in multiple settings. Quote, we should be looking or at least exploring training for universal workers who are actually going to be trained to the level so that they can work across all long-term care settings, which would allow them to have options for working in different settings, Stone urged. Robert Espinoza, Vice President of Policy for the New York-based Direct Care Workforce Advocacy Group, PHI, echoed her comments. This has been your Long-Term Care News Update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.